Okay, vascular diseases of the GIT. Um, before we start, let's have some anatomy review. Um, uh, this is the colon, um, ascending transverse, descending erectosigmoid. Uh, this is the aorta. And uh, three major branches from the aorta is the uh, celiac trunk, severe mesenteric artery, and inferior mesenteric artery. Um, the ascending colon, the proximal two-thirds of the transverse, are supplied by the uh, severe mesenteric artery. Uh, the distal third of the transverse descending colon uh, are supplied by the inferior mesenteric artery. Remember that the uh, uh, celiac trunk uh, so, um, is the source of the hepatic artery, which so, supplies 30% of the hepatic vascular circulation. Um, um, also, notice here that the this is the duodenum, and it's passing underneath the uh, uh, severe mesenteric artery. This has a clinical significance we will talk about later. Um, uh, just remember that uh, there is uh, what they call it the watershed areas, uh, areas with the vascular vulnerability of the colon, uh, stenic flexure, and the rectosigmoid area. Okay, so uh, ischemic colitis. Um, ischemic colitis is usually but not solely related to the uh, 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 inferior mesenteric artery. Uh, but the most common cause of the ischemic colitis is the acute uh, inferior mesenteric artery ischemia. Uh, as we said, it affects the watershed areas, uh, which have the lowest blood supply, the splenic flexure and direct to sigmoid areas. And usually it spares the rectum. Uh, what causes ischemic colitis? Anything that can lead to low flow state of the blood supply. Aging, atherosclerosis, uh, history of abdominal surgeries, vasculitis, um, CHF, hypercoagulability. So uh, medications uh, that might decrease the blood uh, pressure like medication, uh, blood pressure medications, NSAIDs, and the migraine treatment, uh, rizatriptan, and the IPS, uh, the uh, diarrhea predominant treatment, allocitron, also can uh, give like one in a thousand uh, cases the uh, ischemic colitis. There are also a phenomenon of uh, what they call it the, the distance runner. They because of the uh, uh, running uh, leads to dehydration and uh, drop of the blood uh, pressure and the flow to the gut. And also, um, uh, oral contraceptive pills uh, can uh, lead to um, uh, ischemic colitis. Uh, regarding the symptoms, uh, ischemic colitis always uh, ha has an acute onset, and uh, there's always a pain, and the, this pain usually is out of proportion to the physical examination. Uh, usually it's located in the lower left quadrant uh, and is accompanied by uh, hematochesia and diarrhea like any other uh, uh, form of colitis. Uh, there usually, if there's no complications, uh, the lack of fever and leukocytosis, unless there's complications. Uh, the complications are only emerge if there is a transmural uh, uh, necrosis uh, in the form of uh, stricture and uh, necrosis. Just remember that uh, uh, the O157H7 uh, uh, form of the uh, E. coli mimics the ischemic colitis, uh, uh, at least to a phenomenon called uh, uh, segmental hemorrhagic colitis. As, as it exactly looks like the uh, usual vascular ischemic colitis. Uh, how you diagnose the ischemic colitis? Um, uh, usually, uh, any, anyone who comes with uh, diarrhea, uh, hematochesia, and uh, abdominal pain of acute onset, uh, you suspect uh, complication, and you rule this out by having the patient have an X-ray. If uh, the X-ray uh, rule out the, the major uh, uh, complication that um, you are worried about, um, uh, you need you don't need to have a CAT scan done unless you are suspecting something worse, like a perforation in a, or, or a sick, toxic patient. So uh, uh, CT uh, is, is not needed unless uh, the patient is uh, in a worse shape. Um, sigmo sigmoidoscopy will usually require, uh, after ruling out uh, uh, serious consequences, <clears throat> and uh, because 
colonoscopy is relatively contraindicated in the, in the acute colitis. You will find on your uh, sigmoidoscopy a single stripe sign uh, in the left colon, which is a segmental batchy uh, uh, um, aphthoid ulceration that is non-continuous and usually it spares the rectum. The outcome of the uh, ischemic colitis usually good. Uh, all what you need to do is the uh, uh, support the patient and uh, just uh, follow the patient clinically <clears throat> and optimize the the, the etiology of the uh, uh, of the colitis in the form of uh, optimizing the cardiac status. Surgery wouldn't be required unless there's a transmural uh, transmural necrosis, uh, perforation, and massive bleeding or <clears throat> stricturing that is not um, improving. Um, before we uh, go to the uh, the twin etiology of the uh, ischemic colitis, which is the acute uh, severe mesenteric ischemia, uh, let's just, let's have some talk about the uh, what we call it the severe mesenteric artery syndrome. Um, again, here back to this image. Um, this is the duodenum, second and third and fourth part. Uh, this is the uh, severe mesenteric artery. Uh, notice that the duodenum passes underneath the uh, superior mesenteric artery. Uh, the superior mesenteric artery syndrome, the, this angle, uh, um, the, the superior mesenteric artery forms an, a, a, an angle uh, uh, along with the aorta, and usually this angle is, uh, is more than 25 uh, degrees. <coughs> uh, if anything, if makes this angle uh, more tight. Uh, this is will form like a clamp. Uh, the 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 D three will be entrapped between the superior mesenteric artery and the aorta, as if it's being clamped. Okay, what might lead to reduction of this angle? Um, anything that leads to the reduction of weight, like uh, anorexia nervosa or uh, anorexia in general, will decrease the intra-abdominal fat. Fat would maintain this angle above 25 degrees. So this is will decrease the, uh, mean reduction of the weight and decrease the intra fat will decrease the award to uh, a severe mesenteric artery angle to less than 25 degrees and will lead to a proximal small bowel obstruction at the level of D3. How would that uh, give symptoms? The symptoms would be a postprandial nausea and vomiting and epigastric pain along with a reduction of weight. <coughs> How, how, how is that diagnosed? You do a uh, small bowel series, you're going to find uh, dilated stomach and abrupt, abrupt cut off at the level of D3. Then, uh, this is the initial diagnostic workup, then you might do a CT angio or a CAT scan to define the SMA angle. Uh, what's the treatment? The treatment is you, you are trying to restore the, 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 the lost fat um, underneath the uh, severe mesenteric artery. So uh, you start the patient on fluids and you place a nasogeneal tube. Uh, why nasogeneal? Because it has to go beyond the obstruction. Or yeah, sometimes you might need to give a TBN. If that failed, uh, you refer the patient for surgery and that's called uh, duodenal mobilization. All right. Um, uh, remember that uh, the SMA not only supply the uh, right to thirds of transverse and the ascending colon, also supplies the small bowel. Uh, vascular events uh, uh, of the severe mesenteric artery uh, can be uh, acute uh, and chronic, and uh, the acute can be occlusive or uh, non-occlusive. Um, Remember that the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, acute severe mesenteric ischemia is really a, a catastrophic event uh, carries a mortality of more than fifty percent. Um, usually, uh, the uh, the etiology is either uh, embolic or uh, 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 thrombotic. Uh, though the uh, uh, emboli uh, uh, are more common than the thrombi. Emboli source usually uh, patients who have uh, cardiac arrhythmias like uh, AFib or uh, and patients who have vascular heart disease, uh, uh, extensive uh, atherosclerotic disease, uh, peripheral vascular disease, and who had recent cardiac cath or MI or CHF. 
uh, the patient with thrombosis uh, 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 with uh, um, uh, decrease in the blood pressure uh, again from uh, uh, cardiac etiologies or uh, sepsis uh, or uh, with uh, thrombophilia or vasculitis um, or at catastrophic cardiac events like dissecting aneurysm <coughs> will have uh, an acute uh, severe mesentric uh, ischemia syndrome. Uh, remember, there's an entity called isolated right uh, colon ischemia, and it's uh, a form of the uh, uh, ischemic colitis, uh, though it, it's not uh, secondary to inferior mesentric artery ischemia, it is uh, secondary to uh, severe mesentric artery ischemia. And, you know, um, because the, the etiology is related to the uh, severe mesentric artery, this is a serious condition. And it's usually associated with coronary artery disease. And uh, remember here, this is a broad point, uh, uh, patients who have coronary kidney disease on HD, uh, they usually develop this kind of ischemia. And it carries uh, a very high uh, mortality, 30 days mortality. And uh, usually it needs surgery and uh, CT angiogram is a must if this condition uh, has been diagnosed. Uh, remember again that the uh, usually uh, thrombotic etiology of the severe mesentric artery are usually have extensive uh, uh, disease while the, uh, the, embol the embolic etiology have a limited uh, form of the disease. Uh, symptoms wise again uh, it resembles the um, the uh, ischemic colitis, though the location usually in the in the mid abdomen, it's in the form of acute uh, uh, onset of uh, pain that's out of proportion of the physical examination. It might have a bloody stool. Uh, yet the the the, <coughs> the symptoms that distinguish the uh, the uh, severe mesentric artery uh, uh, ischemia here that the patient will develop ileus uh, fever and uh, for, uh, and uh, a clinical picture of uh, acid metabolic acidosis due to increase of the lactic acid and uh, drop of the bicarbonate. Um, and uh, be careful with the missing the uh, acute mesentric artery ischemia. Uh, if you miss that diagnosis, the mortality will reach up to 90%. Uh, Diagnosis-wise, uh, usually the, the it used to be the the, uh, the gold the gold standard used to be the labor, uh, laboratory. Uh, though uh, these days we do a CT angiogram, and uh, uh, you will encounter this kind of uh, finding on the uh, X-ray if you do it for someone who has. Uh, uh, any form of colitis anyway. This is called the thumb printing. It's like when you have a dove or a mud and you have your fingers uh, imprinted on the uh, the piece of mud. Uh, that's due to a colonic wall uh, or small bowel uh, edema. So the the main standard of diagnosis is the uh, uh, CT angiogram. Um, um, uh, you need to uh, be careful with the severe mesentric artery ischemia. You need to rule out small bowel ischemia or perforation or gangrene. Uh, look for something called the intestinal pneumatosis and portal vein gases and any question that you might encounter on the board. Uh, you might also in the diagnosis consider a double ultrasound instead of a CT angio uh, if uh, the patient have a acute kidney injury uh, secondary to this uh, vascular insufficiency. Uh, again, here is uh, uh, the isolated right-sided colonic ischemia. Uh, remember, it uh, is being diagnosed with angiogram, not CAT scan. And angiogram is the must uh, after diagnosis. Uh, regarding the management, um, uh, unfortunately, if the patient is not fit for surgery, there is not much you can do, and uh, you need to give supportive management. Uh, if the patients are, are candidate uh, for surgery or intervention, uh, you go ahead and give this patient intraarterial papivirine uh, to dilate the, uh, the, the vessels, and uh, you need to start the patient in anticoagulation. Uh, if there is a partial small uh, occlusion, you might try an uh, angiographic uh, TPA. If there is a larger emboli uh, and there is a, no, no, uh, the patient is non-surgical candidate, you go ahead and refer him for embolectomy. Uh, at any point, uh, if there is a peritonitis uh, or small bowel gangrene, this patient needs to be operated on.